What's up guys? Welcome back to my blind LP of my pacifist run of Undertale. Previously, I was being chased by the one and only Undyne. Or maybe it's Undine. I'm gonna pronounce it as Undyne because I know of Undine from the Tales of franchise as the, I think it's called the Water Spirit, and it's spelt with an I instead of a Y, so I'll pronounce this monster as Undyne. Uh, two occasions, I almost was a goner from her. And also, I struggled with some Blossom puzzle. But here I am in this room with a mouse hole. And now, let's just proceed. So far, no enemies have been slain. I have not hurt a single enemy, so, so far so good on the pacifist part. Again, there's probably going to be nothing in this box. Alright. Sans, what do you have to say? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Sure. I think that's a very smart decision to allow me to use it for free, rather than charge me, um certain amounts of money that I'll never be able to afford spending. Um, what? I gotta find something. This is the best method to find something if you're doing this kind of puzzle. Oh, come on, there's something gonna be around here somewhere. There's nothing. It's all red. There's no messages. Are you serious? No wonder that you allow me to use this telescope for free. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> what? I didn't even pay for it, so... So that's what the telescope's for. It gave me a red eye. <laughs> Jeez. Who are you? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Uh, let's see. Oh, I got some... Sucked paths here. I can go all those two ways so I can go through this door. Let's try the door first. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. She looks with one eye. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25 gold. Oh, wasn't it 15 earlier? Whatever, I gotta get a couple of these. Super! Here you go! Your card's in the box. You've got the nice cream. Nice cream, frozen treat, warms your heart. And then I'll buy one more. Okay, now let's go get those cards. Two bugs in the box are playing a three card game. Take a card? Yes. All games must end one day. <laughs> the box contains two cards. Take this one. One card left. Okay. Is that hogging my... Yeah, it's hogging my inventory too, so I better, might as well take advantage of this situation. Hey, you have three punch cards. How about redeeming them for un some ice cream? It's free. There. Here. A free ice cream. You lost three cards and got an ice cream. I should have four. Yep. And they cure 15, I think. Yep. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Let's see. Just checking my stats here. 5 attack, 10 defense, tough glove, and old tutu. Let's see what the cell phone has here. I can call Papyrus. I didn't see this. That is, I don't really check the cell phone, cell phone very often. This is my second time pulling it out. I'm gonna try it. Ring, ring. I mean, bing. Nobody picked up. I got a bad feeling I'll never see Toriel again. How about papyrus? Bring, bring. Ice cream! Thanks! 
But I love it snowed in. There's ice cream all over the ground. That's called snow. Sans, I didn't ask your opinion. All right, let's get out of here. Thankfully, I got some ice cream. It'll make me very nice, pun intended. Let's go down. I smell some monster fights coming. What do you have to say? You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm? Just one, but it's kind of stupid. How about this way? Oh! Aha! I've already ran into you! Hmm. I never get the chance to check floor or imitate it. I'm not even gonna bother. Let's just end it right there. That was kind of a waste of my time. Wait. I thought something was blocking the... There is! It's a pair of ballet shoes. <laughs> hey, matches the tutu. Will you take it? Sure, you've got the ballet shoes. Alright, ballet shoes, weapon attack, seven. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. They'll also make me become even better of a ballerina with the complete set, if you know what I mean. I might as well equip it. I mean, it's slightly better than the uh, the one I have right now, the uh, the tough glove. Check this out. Yeah, that has five, so let's throw this away. Now, there's more of these mushrooms. Hmm. All right, well... Let's head back this way. Mm, what does down take me? Oh, ring, 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 phone call, phone call. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clues? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. That's the way you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Is it gonna be another phone call or a monster fight? Oh! It's the ladder! I've already, you, already ran into you two already. Who should I deal with first? Let's flex some muscles. Okay. Scrub a dub dub. Tweet! Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Oh jeez. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, holy crap, where the bar of soap come from? Must be from Washua. Let's keep flexing. Out! Darn spot. Tweet! Nice. I won't lose though. I don't want to touch those blue sparkles because that might be hazardous too. Ready for the next flex? Yep. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. Flexes out. Yep, that works. Now I just have to deal with Washua. Wash you face. Tweet! Oh god, not this move. No! Stop. It's better if I just stand far away so I can go through the gaps. Let's clean. Hops on excitingly. Green means clean. Tweet! Okay, watch out for the green ones. I don't necessarily have to... Well, now I do. Oh, I didn't get it. That's three damage? Jeez, that's tough. Green means clean. Dweep! Shoot. Bring one down here. There we go. Get this one. No, nope. well, I got one at least. Washua is rinsing off of pizza? Dude, what a waste. Pizza's awesome. What was on it? Like, sausage, pepperoni, and green peppers? You... You dumb phony! I would have eaten that! Well, I can end the fight anyways. 55 gold, holy crap. Oh, another flower. You hear a passing conversation? Don't say that! Come on, I promise I won't laugh. I think it's been a little over 10 minutes, so I'll still play on. I think this is just a loop-de-loop. -loop. Yep. Oh! Oh! Waste of my time. Set up here. Oh, what does this say? The power to take their souls. 
This is the power that the humans feared. I wonder where, what the other path... Yeah. I wonder what the other path led to, so give me a few moments. Okay, here I am. Let's see where this leads. I'm gonna waste my two minutes. Also, poor little ducky, he's all by himself. Where's your mother? You're not an ugly duckling, you're a perfectly shaped ducky. That's too bad, it's a dead end. Alright, give me another couple more minutes. I ran into a fight along the way that I had trouble escaping for a couple of turns, and now I have 15 HP, but I think I'll do okay. Uh oh. Um, oh, that one's following me. Oh, shoot. Uh, nope. Hm. Oh, I stopped. Oh, shoot. This better be a boss fight. <laughs> what? Moe Octopus. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. <laughs> Onion-san, you hear? I hate onions. Don't get near me! No. Shoo. You are visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll- you love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite- just- Shut up! You're annoying! Don't follow me! No! Shoo! Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but- Hey, hey! That's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Get away from me! And the aquarium's full any uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Stop. Oh, well, exit, exit, go! No, shoot, go away! Hey, there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around, have a good time. In waterfall. Good riddance. Ugh. Onions. I like green peas better. Oh! That was all of a sudden. Shiren hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. Smile, hum, and conduct? What do you have to say? No defense at all. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Toot! That was easy. Chiron hums very faintly. Let's hum back. Oh, there's a creepy face. You hum a funky tune. Chiron follows your melody. See, lazy, lazy, me, see, me. Oh, shoot. I should have done that! Oh, crap, crap. Chiron seems much more comfortable singing along. Let's get this over with. Okay. What do you have to say? The northern room hides a great treasure. Anything down here? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Well, that'll lead somewhere else. I want to check the other room, though, for that great treasure. There's a code up there. X is to quit out. There's also dot, left, down, left. Right. Up. What do you have to say? A haunted song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Okay, I know how to play it now. I'll use the control stick. Okay. That's gonna mean something. I guess I'll never know what the 
a tune's gonna be. It's a statue. The structures as at its feet seem dry. Huh. Strange. Okay, moving on. Please take one. Oh, these? Bucket of umbrellas. Take an umbrella? You took an umbrella. Oh, it doesn't work underneath the waterfall. I might as well take an umbrella. There's like a whole bunch there. Ooh, maybe if I put it on top of the statue. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes. Hmm. That must be the melody I have to play. Oh, wait, it's floating up there. I see it. Dot, up, right, dot, down, down, right. There's only seven. The message mes uh, mentioned that the first eight tunes or keys are fine, but there's only seven. That means the eighth one I have to guess. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Okay. I want to listen carefully, though. Hmm. Well, I can't really make out with it, so I'll have to take a guess check. I mean, the eighth one with being five keys to choose from, that's a 20% chance to get it right. I just have to remember these first seven, though. Dot, up, right, dot, down, down, right. Okay. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Dot, up, right, dot, down, down, right, and then whatever the other key is. Let's go for it. Okay, it was dot, up, right, dot, down, down, right. Let's go with dot. I only pushed seven keys! You said eight, didn't you? You screwed up! You're off by one digit! I pushed seven keys! Okay, whatever. Alright. Ooh. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Hey, I might as well. I solved the puzzle to get to it. It's all mine now. You're carrying too many dogs? What? Where did you come from? Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Where'd that thing come from? You put the dog on the ground. Oh, it's one of those things. The dog absorbs the artifact. What? I, what, the, what? It just walked right through the walls? Are you serious? The artifact is gone. Well, darn Sean, I got nothing for that? Oh, screw you, dog. Oh, what? Dog residue, dog item, dog-shaped husk shed from a dog's carapace. What is it used for? Uh-oh, I used it. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. Wait, dog salad? Dog salad heals, recovers HP, hit poodles. Hmm. Oh, that's what the HP is, hit poodles. But it's giving me a mysterious amount. I'm gonna have to guess and say it's gonna be all HP, so... I'll hold on to that. I will use this, though. You finished using it. An uneasy atmosphere fills the room. More residue? Saying the same thing over and over, and it just keeps coming. Um... I'm going to try dropping it. Okay, that's a little bit better. If I use it, it's going to multiply again, isn't it? Oh, wait, I got another salad. Holy crap. Ah, oh, shoot. I'll just throw this one away. So cool, I got two dog salads. I wonder if they'll help me in the long run. I hope it's not one HP. That would kind of suck, going through a 
piano puzzle just to get two useless dog salads. Okay, let's carry on. Again, seven keys and not eight. That was misleading. Alright, so I smell a checkpoint coming up pretty soon after this room. Let's hope I'm right. Uh oh. How long's it been? A little over 20 minutes. Yo! You can't hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Haha. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, wait. No, I'm gonna try what you said. I'm gonna go back and get an umbrella. Yo, I already looked. Undyne's not over here, so I guess I'll see you later. Haha. <laughs> Alright, bye, Scraggy. Here we go. Will I get a different colored umbrella? Oh, I got the same colored one. I wanted black. Oh, well. Black would be per perfect for this area, because Undyne would not see me. Yo! You got us an umbrella! Okay, it's different. That's cool. You're the best. Oh, ha ha. Let's go. You're not gonna follow me? You're just gonna stay wet behind me? Oh, I see how it is. Okay. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, well, here we go. It's still raining. Am I gonna have any encounters while I'm walking with Scraggy? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo! How cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers! And no one would learn anything, and everybody would be... kind of dunce. <laughs> um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. What's this? I can pause. <laughs> Toriel? Ring ring. Oh, no, I can't do that. Only if someone's calling me, I'll do the phone call part. Ring. No, oh, Toriel. How about you, Papyrus? That's the king's castle. Okay, that doesn't tell me very much. Oh, I did move. Hang on. Ah, okay, here we go. That's cool, I like this little setting. Hey, Scraggy, where are you going? Jeez. Alright, well. Carrying on. Oh, another umbrella basket. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Okay, so that's what the basket's for. You know, that's really strange. We have two umbrella baskets, one in one spot and then one here in this spot. Like, it was programmed to have me do that. Okay. Thanks, Greggy. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. A oh, poof. Tripping on the old pants again. Looks like there's no turning back, though, because I can't drop down the ledge, so... Checkpoint? I'll, I'll read those two tablets in the next episode. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Okay, so, in the next episode, I'll go on ahead and read those two messages on the wall before proceeding to... The right. I think Undyne will be up ahead somewhere. I mean, I haven't run into her this episode as long as I think about it. Yeah, I don't think she has appeared in this episode, so she's gonna show up eventually. I'll try to be ready for it and be determined too. Okay, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. And like I always say, 
Take care. 